Okie dokie then, um, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to what will be episode 9 of Galactic Brick Wars. Now one thing you're going to notice right away is all of a sudden all of my planets are suddenly defended and my cache has changed and my technology has changed and holy shit we've jumped from turn 177 to 227. Now there is a very good reason for this, because this save game is kind of a patchwork of multiple save games that I ended up having to send off to Stardock to repair. Like I said a few episodes ago, there were a couple of memory issues and a couple of bugs that ended up falling through. So what I've had to do in between 177 and 227, while being as light with the hammer as possible, I've had to cheat my nuts off. What I ended up having to do was repeatedly buy all of the ships of all the other empires, including Trattoria, using cheated in cash, and then sell them to free up memory in order to actually continue playing the game. Because there is, if there is one bug Galsif 3 does still have, it's that in the incredible late game, the late, late game, while the AIs are running around, and yes, they'll throw ships at each other with wild abandon, but they've not thrown everything at each other. All of those odds and sods ships that it built 100, 200 turns ago are still around, along with all the ships that they've built in between and all the ones they're now churning out for their war efforts. And yeah, the game eventually chugs and dies. So I cheated my nuts off, I put some cash in, I brought as many ships as I could, sold them, freed up some memory assets, then kept rolling with it, and then played the game for about 40 turns after my cheating, just to be sure that it was safe and stable, and it's actually a little bit smoother running, I'm sure you noticed, than it was last time round, when it suddenly decided it was going to start lagging out mid-play, and I was convinced that my recording was going to stop at any minute. Putting that aside, things that have been missed out on. We've had some improvements on Scythia, Mantarok, Rigel Cantorus Beta, Rigel Cantorus Alpha, Gateway, Mousetrap, Weedle, Weedle, Scythia again. Right, that covers that part of it. In amongst other bits, not cheating, I will point out, I brought some of the various other Empire supplies of Illyrium, which apparently only goes for about 500 a pop. Yeah. Added it to my own supplies of Illyrium, and designed the Regent Mark IV-E. Now the reason why this is the Mark IV E, and it's distinctly different from the Mark III's and Mark IV's that I designed last time round, is that the Mark IV E can only be produced in limited number depending on how much Illyrium I have at the time. And they are all equipped with this, if you see where my mouse is wiggling, Illyrium Prototype Main Cannon, which is what gives it its dramatic punch, along with the same old four disruptor banks and all of the rest of it. Also, every single ship of the class is now capable of surveying anomalies. So if I do get the chance to switch back around to peace, because yes, I am still at war with Trattoria, and yes, Vizard is still being a massive pain in the dick, if I can force them into the coup that I've been trying to force them into for several episodes now, and uh, sue for peace, I might actually be able to explore some more of the grand galaxy out there. Which, as you can see, is pretty grand and um, pretty galaxy-like. And for some reason, my vision pact with Polonia has come to an end. I think it was just a limited turn duration thing, but it helped free up some memory assets, so... This is me not caring. Um, as for today's episode, I'm not not alcoholic. Which means I have a glass. Oh, fuck off, USA. Yep, despite all the work I've done, apparently I'm still underpowered in comparison to everyone else. And I have vodka. Granted, not that much vodka, but enough for about an episode, maybe two. So, into the glass it goes. And I have Pepsi. And yeah. Here it goes into the cup. And then you put the vodka in the Pepsi and you put it in the Craig. Ooh, yummy. So with this, without further ado, let's take on the Vizard Shipyards. 
those stalls. <coughs> oh. Meanwhile, I am full of fucking snot. Right. So that's the Vizard Shipyards taken out. Now, at some point... <coughs> right, let's buy a transport. I'm going to force Trattoria off of Vizard. With as many troops as I can muster. Conventional warhead, likelihood of success, 100%. And there we go, Vizard is now mine. So eject one regent to defend it. And... Uh -huh, they were trying to fight back my cultural influence. The entertainment network's not needed. Neither is the Thulium data center. Or any of the rest of this misaligned cack. Uh, right, we need a terraforming plant. If they were using this world as a mass production center, then that's exactly what I'm going to work it for. Already used Rush this time. Oh well. And now, with Vizard under my control, I'm going to go and explore over there and see what's going on. Because hopefully this will be the grand move that uh, starts a declaration of peace. Peace in our time always starts with vodka. You can quote me on that, by the way. <coughs> right, so, trade offer. They want to trade Durantium with me. Okay, I'd rather not have Durantium. I'd rather have some of those sweet, sweet technologies you've got. Like logistics, hull strengthening, and... Yeah, do you want warp field theory for that? Maybe terraforming? Beam pathification, focused research, habitat reinforcement, or whatever. Right, there we go. It's given us some new text out of that. So whose is this? Not Trattoria. Is that who is that? I don't know. Oh, what's going on over there? That's a Trattorian battle group. You can go to hell. You can go to hell, good sir. Alright, looks like this is going to be a battle of the titans. Oh, Confederation of Polonia has built up a powerful military. Well, tell me something I don't know. This is something that keeps happening a lot since I've had to uh, basically fix the save game. Everyone started rebuilding their militaries almost instantaneously with the cheated in cash. And then everyone had to tell everyone else that they were building stuff again, even though we already knew what was going on. So, yeah, that happened. Let's send another regent off to the Vizard front. Oh, view battle, view battle! And, yeah. Holy shit, that number difference. Okay, so if they're individually so powerful, why does everyone keep insisting I'm so weak? Let's go through to cinematic cam. Pew pew pew. Lasers. Okay, I've just lost a region. But I know they've already... Okay. So I lost one ship to counter their three. <sighs> Military industry. Right, so... Engineering. Let's get this warp field focus technology up and running. So I can get a bit more oomph out of my ships. Come on, you can catch up too. Right, turn. Because <sighs> in theory now, after losing the supply chain and therefore the um, range that Vizard supplies, the Trattorians are going to have a real hard time actually getting into my territory to strike at anything of any importance. Or at least that's the theory. Let's go to diplomacy. Let's see if we can declare piss in our tam. You must be joking. Right, okay then. How about influential voice? Three technologies for peace? 
Yep, we have had piss in our time. And what about you lot? Oh, nothing yet. Right, so I'm still kind of at war with the Immortals, although I'm still not sure how that happened. Apparently I was at war for Brit with Britannia for a little bit as well, and I was like, how the fuck did that happen? Because Britannia were being pretty broad here up until that moment, but, you know, there we go, then in Rome. So, the Regent fleet is going to take up a holding position. Or do I move them somewhere else? Right, I'm losing 179 income a turn. I need to change this. Let's go 40% wealth, 40% research, and 20% manufacturing. And there we go. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park them in the wireless system and then keep them on guard in case anything decides to come down from on high. So Mousetrap is actually making cash for me now, which is nice. You can hear a little bit, my asthma's kicking in. What are you guys doing? We're at peace now. Yes, I know, the Polonians have built up a powerful military, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. <sighs> I have already come to the conclusion that this game is going to be pox Polonia, so... Yeah. Let's just carry it on and see what else we get out of this. Should we go survey? Yeah, let's go survey. Get me some of them tasty relics, rather than parking them in the wireless system. I, I want to explore the great blue yonder of over there. And, yeah, I suppose, yeah, I'll help Assyria out, and they'll be nice to me. Uh, ah, pardon me. In amongst other things, I suppose I need... Oh, stop telling me to launch a strike on bloody blah, blah What the fuck's happened to you guys? What? Celestial Kingdom. Technologies, but no planets and no star bases. What the hell happened? Have I found a bug? I think I found a bug. I have that. Planetary bombardment, yes please. Uh, Armored miniaturization, yeah, I'll have that. Biological warfare, yeah, I'll have that. Alright. You must wait longer to trade with you. Stellar immigration, yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that. Hell, I love that too. Oh, come on. Stop being so difficult. <laughs> Please, state of Venice. Mm. Britannia, what have you got? Yeah, I love them. There you go. How about we find a way to end this war? No? Well, fuck off then. You can die. Do 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 cultural outreach. Yeah, I have that. Hey, glad to be of service. Right then, what have you got? You've got lots of technologies I don't have. Oh God, they're already working their way up to photonic warheads. Oh, hyperwarp raves. Deep space logistics. Tell you what, if I offer up. Oh Christ. Uh, God damn it, Polonia. That's somewhat ridiculous. Piltock, what have you got that I don't have? Low cost missiles, sustainable shipyards. Yeah, give me all of those techs. Give me them all. I want them. I'm going to stuff them in my pants and then I'm going to touch them at night. 
You're going to need a lot more to keep yourself interested in life. Well, it's a good job you're a shitty little empire that won't be able to do anything with the stuff I give you. Honestly, you're just filling in the gaps in my own bloody research at the moment. Yeah, I'll have that. And that, and that, and that. In fact, give me it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Do, 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 do. Bloody hell. Moaks and their blatant technological arrogance. So what's happened to the Celestial Kingdom? Are they dead? Why has their planet been replaced with the Starbase? And one. They must be a defeated empire then. Am I going to watch them disappear in the next turn or what? Wait a minute. Yin? The fuck? What the fuck? What? I don't, col I don't own colonies out here. This is... Oh. Oh. He's handed over his worlds to me. The Celestial Kingdom has indeed surrendered. Son of a bitch. The fuck? Right, okay. So I've got an entire other chunk of an empire to deal with now. Thanks, guys. Right, if that's the case, I am going to save all of this shit for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching the shorter Galactic Brick Wars Episode 9, and I will be right back with Episode 10.